Welcome everybody to Bedbug TV. I'm your host, Jeff White. One of the most popular questions that I get from viewers of Bedbug TV is, how do I know the bugs are gone? Meaning that you had bed bugs, you performed some treatments, and obviously for many it's a very traumatic experience. Uh, you can get rid of bed bugs fairly easily, especially if you catch it early on. But obviously the question always remains, are they gone? A lot of times people can react, even you know, like uh, people that I know, for instance, get bit by bed bugs and don't actually show the reaction for up to two weeks afterwards. And so you could receive a treatment, hope the bugs are gone, and all of a sudden you see a bite on your arm a week later. You do an inspection, you can't find anything. You start asking yourself, well, why am I reacting? Are the bugs gone? And so what I want to talk about is just some quick things you can do to confirm that the bugs are in fact gone. And honestly, the first thing is, of course, just a visual inspection, uh, pretty basic and, and, and self-explanatory. Stand the mattress up, stand the box spring up, make sure you get to the bottom of that box spring. Uh, obviously that's the most common area that bed bugs do hide. Um, if you have encasements on your mattress or box spring, that should make the bugs even easier to see. Uh, if you have any questions on how to properly inspect a bed or the role and, and position of bed encasements and bed bug treatment, we will link those videos in the description. Uh, you can go see how to do those properly. But the bottom line is it always starts with the visual inspection. Now what we know is that it's very easy to miss bed bugs if there are only one or two there. And so the visual inspection is obviously not the end all be all when it comes to whether or not bed bugs are still there. Another thing that you can do is of course use monitors um, to help you further evaluate whether the bugs are actually gone. And honestly this to me is the best way as I almost drop it. Uh, in regards to these are the under the leg interception devices. This one is blackout which I did, did design myself. There are others on the market that you can do some research on. But by putting these under the legs of the beds and couches these will detect 95% or more of all infestations within two weeks of installation. And so honestly as a pest control company, what we would do is we would go in and we would say, all right, we would check these every two weeks. And if we're not finding bugs in these, 95% or better means that the bugs probably aren't there. Um, we'd also combine that with visual inspections. You could also use Volcano, which is this smaller device here, uh, as another way to tell whether or not you may or may not have bed bugs. So putting these under the, be uh, putting these under the beds and couches, two per better couch, and you can use active to increase the chance that either of these devices catch bugs if they are in fact present. Um, and a volcano is another device that I did actually design. But either way, when it comes to monitors, you go out and do your research, see what's out there. The bottom line is, is these actually can be your best tool in regards to telling whether or not bugs are there because we know how effective they are. And if weeks go by and these haven't caught bugs, the chance increases that you don't in fact have bed bugs there. And then what you're going to do is obviously just Keep an eye on things. Uh, you know, unfortunately, there's no definitive way I can tell anybody that the bugs are gone. Um, you just have to keep an eye on things, do periodic inspections, check the monitors, and every week that goes by that you don't find a bed bug suggests that the bugs are, in fact, gone. And we typically recommend six to eight weeks of no bugs, no bites. Now, the bites, just real quick. You know, sometimes people can react after the fact, and so the bugs are gone, but they still are showing reactions from the previous experience. If you're having issues with the reactions, I always recommend to people to see a dermatologist. I cannot tell you whether or not the reactions you're receiving are bed bugs. The dermatologist can't tell you whether or not the bites you're receiving are in fact bed bugs. Uh, but they can help you understand what might be going on if you're seeing reactions and not finding bugs. You know, just because you're getting reactions doesn't necessarily mean that there are bugs there. Obviously, that's not a good thing, but it doesn't mean that they're definitively not there, or there, I should say. Um, so that's basically what to do if you think, you know, you know, you had bed bugs and you're trying to figure out whether or not the bugs are gone. Uh, visual inspections, monitors, combination of those things with no bugs for six to eight weeks then suggests that there's a very good chance that you don't have bed bugs anymore. All right, everybody. Jeff.White at bedbugcentral.com is the email address. If you have any questions, let me know, and I hope to see everybody soon enough.